Chris. Yeah, Mark, guilty on all 51 counts. And our Jordan Fisher has been up here for every day of this five-week-long trial. And Jordan, what's the latest information we just got from the Marion County Prosecutor's Office? Well, Chris, they're going to go straight into what's called the LWAP hearing, the Life Without Parole hearing. And that's where the jury is actually going to decide uh, whether to keep that on the table as far as sentencing goes. Now, in the last trial, Mark Leonard decided to allow the judge to waive the jury off, and the, ju and the judge just, just decided that. Uh, however, today, uh, prosecutors and the defense will present some additional arguments, the, replay some of the evidence we've heard uh, as to why the jury should consider life without parole for Bob Leonard, and then they will, um, they will, make, the, they will make the decision about whether or not uh, that's going to stay on the table. Jordan, you were up in the courtroom. Were you there at the time that they read the uh, all 51 counts, and, and, and did you see any reaction, any visible reaction from Bob Leonard uh, when those counts were read, specifically with the murder charges? Well, they read the, the felony murder charges first. Uh, obviously, he was very upset. Uh, he shook his head. He took his glasses off, put it down on the table, and, and said something under his breath. Clearly unhappy with the ruling. Um, afterwards, he mostly just looked at the jury and the judge as, as she read the remaining counts. Yeah, and you were here for Mark Leonard's trial. You're here for his brother Bob's trial. So you really had uh, a lot of time to spend in that courtroom. We talked before about some of the contrast that perhaps you noticed between trial one and trial two. What were they? Well, the big question in the first trial was, did Mark Leonard know what he was doing, had the potential to kill people? Um, and, and the difference was that his, his defense never claimed that, he, that there was not an arson attempt and that they were not uh, intending to commit insurance fraud. Uh, this trial, however, the defense was, you know, our client Bob was not involved. And so the prosecution's main thrust here was first to prove that he was involved and second to show what his role was. And uh, obviously they were successful in their aim in that regard. You know, we also talked about the amount of time, and I know that John Longworth had said, uh, or we actually, Glenn Olvey, I take that back, uh, one of the Richmond Hill, um, one of the people that lived in Richmond Hill that lived right next door. We want to get some information right here, right now. It was about uh, life without parole hearing. Derek, come on in. Derek, uh, sure. we'll, we'll have you. No, no, no you're, you're fine. You're fine. Come right on in here, Jordan. And Derek, what information do you have? Uh, they are going to have the life without parole hearing uh, this afternoon, uh, but the defense has waived the jury. So the judge will decide whether or not uh, he should receive life without parole. The jury is going to be going home, and the judge uh, will decide whether uh, this defendant will get life without parole. Uh, prosecutors will present uh, some information this afternoon. They, they haven't started yet, but they are going to do it uh, this afternoon. Uh, they're going to present uh, uh, well, a call uh, where uh, Dion Longworth was uh, being burned alive, basically. So the judge will watch that. Uh, I don't think that they would want a, a jury to uh, make a decision on that. So the judge is going to make a ruling on whether he gets life on parole after she listens to that tape. And there's some presentation of some other evidence as well. Okay, Derek and Jordan, thank you both uh, for your insights into this. And